Today we are sailing up to uh, Myre Inlet and uh, as you can see it's still incredible beauty. Beauty and uh, yeah, last night we had a very very uh, beautiful anchorage and, uh, in Sandy Bay and uh, we had only had one problem. There was a lot of horse flyers, I think that's what you call them. And they are really annoying, but uh, we have to live with that. Uh, I think that's summer in, in Alaska. And over here we have a little inlet, and uh, it's uh, into uh, what they said is really wilderness in there, and we are not allowed to sail all the way in there. And uh, the part of the inlet we are allowed to sail in, uh, it's not very well charted on the chart plotter. And there's a, yeah, so we have decided not to go in there. But you know what? Tomorrow we're going to head for the uh, entrance, uh, leaving uh, Glacier Bay. And you know what? We're going to stick, uh, we're going to sail south. And that means that we we'll start our trip back home to Denmark. Even if it's a very, very long way home, and it will take us about two years to get back to Denmark. It's really, uh, yeah, it's a kind of sad. Uh, I know we have a lot to see still, but still, it's a kind of sad that we are heading for Denmark. Even we miss Denmark, our family and friends and colleagues, but uh, it's still sad. So we're going in that inlet to anchor tonight. Um, according to the pilot book, we've got a, uh, it's supposed to be a, a absolute vertical cliff wall that's over a kilometer in height, 3,500 feet. Uh, so that's, that's going to be exciting. Uh, well, we'll see when we get there, but it sure sounds exciting. Everything's up here is exciting. So we're going to sort of be going in around that little bend up there. Uh, you can see this gets narrower and narrower. We're not really quite sure what we're going to find in there. Uh, the pilot book was a little, uh, a little vague about things. It says it's good holding though, so good holding means the anchor will bite well. Uh, it's going to be, I think, pretty exciting once we turn the corner up there. Okay, so this is Shag Cove. It's where I promised you yesterday it was a kilometer high, three and a half thousand foot vertical rock wall. Well, it's not quite vertical, but it's three and a half thousand feet high. And it's right here alongside, and it's a rock climber's ecstasy. Absolutely, they'd go nuts on that. Uh, but it's a beautiful little cove. Uh, we got a guest last night. See, he's parked all the way down the end. You can probably just make out a, a little boat.